What's up guys, Curtis here from Master of Darts, and today I'm doing a review of the Datastar Wolfie Martin Adams darts. If you've been following me for a while, you will know that Martin Adams is my favourite player. This is because my first ever darts match I remember watching was the 2007 BDO World Final. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it was a very, very good final. Go and watch it on YouTube. It is out there, you can go and watch it. So we're going to jump straight in and look at the dart itself. These darts come in a pretty standard set of packaging. They come supplied with the Wolfie 25 years at the Lakeside logo. So you have the Lakeside logo with the little uh, Kingfisher um, L25 and then 1994 to 2018, which are the years where Martin Adams appeared at Lakeside 25 years in a row, which is an incredible achievement. Um, and then you also have the Wolfie logo on one of the other sides. They also come supplied with these metal red stems. You don't often see darts come with metal stems anymore, but this is the match setup that Wolfie used for a very, very long time up until quite recently where he switched to sort of a more molded setup. And then getting into the barrel itself, it's quite a long, thin barrel. So I'm using here the 24 gram version, which are 53 millimeters by 6.2 millimeters wide. And as a front gripper, when I hold these, you can feel the weight on the back. The barrel has two sections. They're made up of the same grip. You have a sort of tapered nose at the front, followed by a sort of mini ring grip. I wouldn't call it a micro ring grip. I also wouldn't call it a standard ring grip. It's quite sort of a, a, a tight ring grip. This goes up for about three quarters of the barrel. And then you have a small smooth section, which says data dart wolfie. And then the ring grip carries on for a couple of rings. And then it tapers off at the end to where the stem goes. All we're going to do now is get these on the board and I'm going to tell you how they feel. So on the board, I started to throw these with the metal stem and these darts actually stood up a little bit more than I thought they would. Considering how long they are and with the medium stem and standard flight, I thought these darts would sit down almost sort of level, if not below level, but these actually stood up a little bit more than I thought they would. With these darts being a little bit longer and thinner, you really do feel like you're pulling the dart through into the target. Sometimes you feel like you're pushing the dart. And for me personally, I like that feeling of pulling the dart through my fingers as a front gripper and guiding it to the target. If I feel like I'm pushing the dart, sometimes I struggle with some snatching because it feels like I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to force the dart to get to the target. Whereas when I feel like I'm pulling the dart through, it feels a little bit more natural and it feels like I'm guiding it through to where I want it to go. In terms of grip rating, I would give this grip a level 4 out of 10. But because of the consistency and the tightness of the rings, you always get a consistent grip, no matter how warm or cold your hands are or how cold or warm the darts are. I always feel the same every time I pick these barrels up, which is a bonus as well. These darts retail for just over £40, and I bought them on Darts Corner just last week, which for a standard ring grip barrel dart, I'd probably say you're maybe paying a little bit too much for them, but as they are a player dart, it probably is about the right price range. And overall, I've been very, very impressed with these barrels. They feel great in the hand, whether you're a front gripper or a mid gripper. I wouldn't recommend them as a rear gripper, but you probably could get away with putting your fingers on those few little rear rings. They're brilliantly balanced. No matter where I hold them, they just feel sort of perfectly sat in my hand and they feel like I can really get them to the board and they're not going to sort of twist about in the air or go all over the place. I also use these darts with short barrels and as you can see, or as you have seen on the board, they go really well with short and medium barrels. Sometimes I have a bit of a struggle switching between the two, but for me, they went in perfectly fine with both sets of barrels, which shows how well balanced these darts are. And yeah guys, that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope I've fed you all the details that you'd want to know. If you do have any questions about the barrels, let me know in the comments down below. I'll also leave a link to Darts Corner and the Wolfie barrels in the description as well. And yeah guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.